construction of an excavator and assemble it. At first, let's install a tracked undercarriage. It helps the vehicle move on the ground. This is a rotating platform. Let's install it. The rotating platform is needed to turn the body of an excavator right and left. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine turns the track so that the vehicle can move, and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. And now let's install an oil pump. The oil pump delivers oil to cylinders so that they can move the boom in the bucket. It's time to install a counterweight. The counterweight is needed to prevent the excavator from falling when it lifts the load or digs the ground. Now let's install a cabin. The cabin is a separate part of a car. The car's driver sits in the cabin. Now we need to install the boom of an excavator. The boom of an excavator is needed to rise and lower the bucket. Let's install the bucket. The bucket is used to dig trenches and holes. Ready. Let's learn the construction of a race car. Drag the parts of the car to their places. This is the frame of a race car. Install it. The frame carries all the other parts of the car. Apart from that, it ensures the safety of the driver during collisions. Now install a steel separating panel. This steel panel separates the engine compartment from the driver's compartment of the car. Now let's install suspension. Suspension keeps the car from shaking while driving. And now we need to install brakes. The brakes are used to slow the race car down or to stop it. Now let's install wheels. The race car needs its wheels to move on the track. This is an engine. Install it. The engine turns the wheels so that the car can move. Now install the battery. The battery helps you start the car and also provides power for the lights, controls, and other systems. Install a radiator. The radiator is needed so that the engine does not overheat. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All this is needed for a driver to control the race car. Let's install a driver's seat. This is where the driver of a race car sits. A special five-point harness distributes the load over the stronger parts of the body, ensuring maximum safety for the driver.
The body is the part of a car where the driver's compartment is located. The body is attached to the car frame. Install it. The body of a racing car is made of lightweight and strong materials. Thanks to its shape, the air currents prevent the car from getting off the ground at high speeds and press it to the track. Don't stop. 